Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, here is my next build I'm going to be working on. Uh, it is the uh, P47D Razorback uh, from the South Pacific Theater by Hasegawa, 148 scale. Uh, I'm going to use this, uh, uh, just do another W2 aircraft. Um, also, I'm probably going to use the, uh, do the uh, scheme that you see here on the, the box cover. Also gives me an opportunity to do a little bit of a uh, metal finish and I also want to try out some of this uh, Vallejo metal colors, uh, the acrylics, which I've heard pretty good things about, so I'm going to give them a try in this build. So, first off, I'm going to just show you what comes here in the box. Alright, so this is the typical house to box. Uh, not much there. Same artwork as the front. And this is kit number uh, 09058, uh, JT58. Um, here's a picture of the completed model. Uh, so, there's 105 pieces, the size. One for a scale, getting back to uh, 88, uh, 98, excuse me. All right, so opening up the box, first thing you got here, you got the instructions, typical Hazagawa, black and white picture of the finished kit, excuse me. Uh, you got some information about the aircraft in Japanese and in English. And this is your typical fold out, you know, pretty standard um, instructions, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's not a very complicated build, it's only nine steps. Uh, you get a number sprue map, which is always good to have. You got your color callouts, what the colors are, and you got your paint schemes, uh, one and two. Uh, and that's it for the instructions. So pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Everything comes in the box uh, here in the typical crunchy uh, hassle bags. You got one bag here with the clear sprue and the decals. Let me set this aside for a second. And then the other bag, typical Hasegawa. You got all your parts in here. You got typical hit seal. You know, not my favorite kind of packaging. Uh, as I mentioned before in some other videos, like for example, Hobby Boss and some of those Chinese manufacturers, I think they do a much, much better way of packaging. And just make sure I don't lose any pieces. That's the problem, you got some loose pieces and so forth here. So let me just give you a quick little tour of what's here in the box and just put this off to the side. So I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit here, excuse me. Alright, so you can see a little bit more details. Um, yeah, I mean, detail is fair. I mean, uh, you got your panel lines and so forth here. So, you got your instrument panel. You can see that, you can see a little better. There's some pretty decent details on it. Okay, and then the inside, really not much of anything in there. Alright, tip it off to the side. Next up, what do we got? We got a sprue here with the cowling, and again, some details there. I mean, not much. Oh, a little bit of flash there, yeah, but not too bad. The details there. The rest of the uh, engine, uh, the cowling flaps. Coming to the wings, top of the wings. Again, some decent, fair details. For a kid of this age, as you see, there's some scuff marks there from the plastic rubbing against plastic, which is one of the bad parts about having all these parts all in one bag, as opposed to the way the other manufacturers do it. And same thing here underneath the wing, you know, you see the details, you see the scuff marks there. I mean, hopefully, once all this is painted up and so forth, you're not gonna see it, but still, you know, it shouldn't have to be. Oh, here you see a lot of scuff marks here, right here in the middle. Oh, shame, shame, shame. All right, nothing else here on the inside. Next, you got the sprue here with a wheel, a bomb, the wheel uh, hub here. Uh, presumably, this is some of the guns. So you can see the threading. Sorry, you can see some of the threading there on the wheels. The wheel hub. Right. Down the other side. And you got another duplicate. Uh, sprue of that, and the last sprue here, second to last sprue here, uh, you have the uh, fuel tank, drop fuel tank, you got the sides here of the cockpit, which is actually uh, pretty decent, here's that, uh, pretty decent there, uh, you got the engine, again, pretty decent, you know, for what it is, for an old kit, relatively older kit, you got the landing gears there, uh, you got the hub, propeller, 
So I mean, this is the uh, cockpit flooring here. So uh, this is pretty, pretty decent detail. And lastly, you got the propellers themselves. Two of these, two sprue cues. And here you got them. So, yeah. Fair. Fair. And a couple of pieces that fell off. You got the horizontal, well, the horizontal stabilizers. You got part of the bomb. And uh, the next part of the sprue that fell off. And lastly, what we have here in this other bag is the clear sprues and some of those little um, black uh, grommet little things here hold some things in place here are actually let me get the instructions so you can see this a little bit clear okay see how clear they are yeah, fair I mean, not horrible. Maybe they're okay, pretty good. Right. So I'm asking there. Let's go through. And then finally, you got the decals. Now, this kit coming back from uh, 98. Uh, they look a little on the yellow side. So I don't know how well they will look once uh, fitted. Um, uh, so I don't know. I might have to get some aftermarket for this. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if you can see this in the camera, but there is some yellowing. Uh, as far as the otherwise, how sharp and good they are. Uh, you can see their focus. You can see they're pretty legible, uh, considering their size there. So forth. And, uh, registration is pretty decent. All right. Uh, that's it. So that's what's in the kit. And so this is going to be my next build. All right. So stay tuned for some more. I'll have some... Uh, other parts uh, detailing the uh, the build and and the painting and so forth. All right, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello, and here's a little first quick uh, update on the build. As usual, starting the cockpit. Um, this is the little cockpit tub, um, all painted up, weathered, old red brushing here and there. I used the decal to kind of the uh, kit for the uh, instrument panel there. We actually laid down pretty well. Um, for the seat, this is the uh, kit part. Uh, instead of using the kit part, I had my stash here, one of these Drew, T Drew uh, Details um, seats uh, for the Hellcat, but uh, actually it's basically the same thing for the uh, uh, P47D, so uh, that is what I used. Uh, so it's a resin, you know, prime painted, dry brush, a little weathering up, added to it, blend it all in there. Alright, and it'll, same thing on the inside, a little bit of weathering there. Assemble the wings, the wheel wells. So all set, not ready to go to the next part, which is uh, sealing up the fuselage, right? Hello, everyone. All right, so uh, here I am with the uh, P47. Um, as far as the fit issues, putting the fuselage and the wings together, uh, I did have some fit issues. Um, if you can see here, this white, where you see a white strip, um, that's actually the size of the gap that was there after glue on the wings, and I had to put a piece of styrene. Uh, evergreen sheet, styrene sheet in there, and then I cut it to size and finally uh, sanded it down to fit that gap, measure gap. And there was a little bit more of a gap here in the sides, and I just some, used some uh, squadron green putty uh, for that uh, this stuff. Uh, same thing down here, there was uh, quite a bit of a step in this area, um, and I did what I'd done in some previous build. I just uh, put a piece of tape uh, either side to you know protect some of the details and give me a working area and then I just uh, put the green putty on it and uh, sanded it and put a couple, a little bit more and sanded it till it was uh, nice and smooth and fill in that space. Also a little bit of a gap here and you know a little, a little bit of a gap here. Uh, it's all sanded. Uh, but uh, that's really the main sh issues with this kit is this wing uh, fuselage joint. Uh, it's really not that great. Uh, so if you have this kit just be prepared for that. Alright, um, other than that, I uh, just put together the engine. Uh, this is painted black, then dry, dry brush uh, with a metallic aluminum. Um, this is gray. There's a little decal there for the kit. It's joined out fine. Of course, most of this is going to be hidden once you put the cowling on. Um, and that's it so far. Uh, so right now, what I'm going to work next is uh, doing some masking and then uh, do the, uh, the primer coat and start painting. Alright, thank you.
Hello, welcome back. Uh, so here I am the P47D um, after doing the initial uh, paint job. Alright, so everything here that you see here, uh, paints were all the from Vallejo. Uh, the primer itself was the uh, Badger Black Stino Res underneath. Uh, so I used the uh, metal color from Vallejo, the uh, aluminum. And I must say, uh, as far as the paint's concerned, I mean it went down pretty smooth. It settles down pretty smooth. Um, whether or not it's a metallic look, yeah, yeah it does. Um, but the paint itself went down smooth, uh, so it was really easy. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, great coverage. Um, it does bring up a lot of the flaws in the kit though, my seam work and so forth. So if you're doing metal work, you definitely have to be extremely careful with uh, your preparation of your model. And, uh, you know, because otherwise every single little flaw will be highlighted, yeah, which is what I see here. So anyway, my first time using it, so I'll get better with the more practice I get with it. And the rest of the paints were also very yellow, um, gray, uh, olive white, uh, for the various other colors that you see here. Um, now for the tail, you see the little red stripe here, you see the little red here for the on the wing walk here. Um, these are actually the de uh, decals uh, for it. I, did, I tried using them to see how well they settled down before I masked off and painted the red. And um, overall, I think they settled down pretty well, okay. So I think that is fine. Uh, I did also try it out on the uh, nose here, on the cowling here, and the Darling Dottie, I think, settled out pretty well. Um, you know, hopefully we'll have to put some of the wiring, the matte coat, it should all blend nicely in there. And there you can see the engine, engine uh, all there in place. Same thing with the propellers, I put the uh, uh, decals on them and painted the yellow tips. Uh, so my next is to go ahead and start the uh, Deckling on the rest of the aircraft and seal it in and then do some wintering. So I'll be back um, after I have uh, proceeded. All right, thanks. All right, uh, so here we are all deckled up. Got all the decals, and this time I actually used every single decal that was made for this particular marking. Uh, even all that little stenciling that you see there. And if you look very carefully, it's almost readable. It is readable. You zoom in really close. Now these old decals are kind of thick, as you can probably see here, um, compared to some modern decals, which is what I use for the uh, stars and bars. Uh, let me see if you can see how thick that is compared to a modern uh, decal for the 21st century. Uh, but uh, surprisingly, even though they're old, these decals are old enough to vote here in the U.S., uh, they went out pretty well, uh, in, with the exception of that their thickness. So. Hopefully after a matte coat and some weathering, it all blend, blend in together. Um, so right now, I'm just going to do a little touch-ups here and there, paint little de details, and then uh, put an overall coating on it and start some weathering. All right, be back. Hello and welcome back, and here is the final for the Hasegawa P47D Razorback uh, Darling Dottie uh, from the Pacific Theater. Um, all finished up here. Um, so just to read about the kit, I mean the kits overall is not that bad. Uh, the main issue is that under wing uh, fit here, uh, which is really bad. You really do need some work there uh, to put that nicely together. Um, and the other other comment I can make about this that's in the negative, uh, from what I understand, the props here this is not very accurate. The props so that's something one want to replace, and you might want to you know like I did with the seat, upgrade it a little bit. You know, put a resin seat like that, or just add some seat belts just to livening up a, a little bit there um, for the uh, antenna wire here this is easy line there um, oh just going back to the prop here um, I did have a problem with the prop that in that the hub here I lost it no idea what happened um, since all the parts came in the bag as you saw my unboxing some of the parts were loose so quite likely just fell off the sprue and just in handling fell off and gone the way of the carpet monster unfortunately c'est la vie um, but other than that, uh, I mean, the kit's okay. I mean, from all reports, the, has, the uh, Tamiya kit of the uh, P47 is much better, which should be being a much newer kit. We just added this little guy here running, pilot running to the uh, plane. Uh, we got that from the spares box. Just quickly painting them, just to add here. This is not my finished base, just something to show here uh, for the final reveal. All right, so I'll put some pictures up here at the end. And thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Right,